In this video, we're going to take a look at Vesper notation. In Vesper notation, we use a three-letter combination to represent the structure that our Lewis structures are representing. It gives us a better idea of how the atoms are arranged, and as we will see, what kind of shape these molecules are going to take. In our Vesper notation, the A represents the central atom. The X is going to represent how many atoms are bonded to that central atom. The A is going to represent that number of atoms. E is going to represent the number of lone pairs on the central atom. And the B is going to represent how many of those lone pairs you have. Let's look at three examples of how this works. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen trichloride, and sulfur dichloride. In the carbon dioxide, we are going to represent the carbon, the central atom, with the letter A. There are two oxygen atoms bonded to the carbon atom, so we're going to represent that by X, and we're going to put a subscript 2 on that to represent that there are two atoms bonded to the central. We are not counting how many lines, we are simply counting how many atoms are bonded to the central atom. The E in our Vesper notation would represent the number of lone pairs on the central atom. Since this carbon does not have any lone pairs, we'd leave it off. So our Vesper notation for carbon dioxide would be AX2. Let's look at nitrogen trichloride. In our nitrogen trichloride, we represent the nitrogen in the center, again, with the letter A. This is always going to represent the central atom. We have three atoms of chlorine bonded to the central atom. So we represent X with a subscript 3, so that there are three atoms bonded to our central atom. This time around, the nitrogen does have a lone pair. So we are going to represent that with this E, and you can either leave it off or put it there. But a subscript 1 would represent that there is one lone pair of electrons on that nitrogen. In sulfur dichloride, again, the A represents the sulfur central atom. We have two chlorines, or two atoms, bonded to the central atom. So we represent that by X2. We have two lone pairs of electrons on that central atom, so we put E and a subscript 2 to represent that we have two lone pairs. One of the things that you should notice is that the subscripts down here are going to represent or equal how many things are attached to the central atom. We have a total of four for our subscripts. That means we have four total lone pairs and atoms on our central atom. Here we have a total of four. We've got three atoms bonded to the central, and we also have one lone pair of electrons on the central. In this, we only have a total of two things on the central atom. In this case, that would be the two atoms. That's our Vesper notation.